This is a crankshaft rotation video for the General Pump Model 47 series. The tools and supplies needed for this repair are a power driver, a 6mm hex, a 5mm hex, a 3 inch ratchet extension, a ratchet wrench, a rubber mallet, a 24mm wrench, two pry bars, and a torque wrench. Please note that the oil needs to be drained prior to performing the crankshaft rotation. Use a 5mm hex to remove the rear cover. Use a 6mm hex to remove the bolts of the connecting rod caps. It's important to note that when replacing the rod caps, they need to be replaced in the same position as they were removed. Insert the handle end of the rubber mallet into the crankcase as shown. Tap lightly on the mallet to push the connecting rods down as far as the crankcase will allow. Use a 6mm hex to remove the seal side cover bolts. Use two pry bars to loosen the seal side cover from the crankcase. Remove the seal side cover. Use a 6mm hex to remove the opposite side cover bolts. Use two pry bars to loosen the seal side cover from the crankcase. Remove the opposite side cover. Carefully remove the crankshaft by rotating it while removing it from the crankcase. Flip the crankshaft and insert it into the opposite side, seating the crankshaft properly into the bottom connecting rod caps. Replace the crankshaft side oil cover seal, snapping it into place. Use a 6mm hex to tighten the bolts. Use a torque wrench to tighten the bolts to the specifications. Replace the opposite side cover, snapping it into place. Be careful to not damage the crankshaft side oil cover seal. Tighten the bolts using a 6mm hex. Use a torque wrench to tighten the bolts to the specifications. Use a 24mm wrench to turn the crankshaft to allow for easier replacement of the connecting rod caps. Be sure the correct cap is applied to the original connecting rod from which it was removed. Use a torque wrench to tighten the connecting rod cap bolts to the specification. Fill the crankcase with a proper amount of Series 100 oil. Check the rear cover O-ring placement and install the cover. Insert and tighten the cover bolts with a 5mm hex. Use a torque wrench to tighten the bolts to the specifications.